This quiz is based on the basics of engineering drawing. Questions are all multiple choice type which test the knowledge of standards and conventions used in engineering drawing. Answers are given at the end of this video. It is my suggestion that you keep a paper and pen and write down your answers as the video runs and later match your answers with the given answers at the end of this video. You may stop the video at any question to properly think of the right answer and then move forward. Which of the three given options should be used as center line? A. Dashed thick line B. Double dashed thin chain line C. Chain thin line or D. None of the above What is the name of the dimension line used for dimensioning circle diameter as shown below? A. Diagonal line B. Leader line C. Circle line or D. Diameter line What does a hidden line represent in engineering drawing? A. Shows the maximum boundary that a part can be drawn up to. B. An incomplete line which requires more information. C. Tolerances for manufacturing the part. Or D. A hidden edge which is not visible to the observer because of features in front. How is a hidden line drawn in engineering drawing? A. By drawing a thin dotted line B. By drawing a thick dotted line C. By drawing a thin long line followed by short line and so on D. By drawing a thin long line segment followed by dot long line segment followed by dot and so on Construction line should always be A. A thick continuous line B. A thin dotted line C. A thin continuous line or D. A thin chain line For making the arrow head, the ratio of the length to the width of the arrow should be kept as a 1 B 2 C 3 or D 4 Hatching lines are drawn in engineering drawing to indicate A hidden edge of a machine part B change of material from the rest of the part C. Section or cut area of the machine part or D. Three dimensional feature of the part Two systems of dimensioning are shown below They are named as A. One aligned system Two unidirectional system B one unidirectional system two aligned system C one single stroke dimensioning system two gothic dimensioning system or D one gothic system two single stroke dimensioning system Following two types of scales are given 1 1 is to 50 2 50 is to 1 Which of the two is an enlarging scale? A 1 B 2 C both 1 and 2 D none of them
What does the scale 1 is to 100 mean? A. 1 mm on the drawing sheet represents 100 cm in actual length. B. 1 mm on the drawing sheet represents 10 cm in actual length. C. 1 mm on the drawing sheet represents 100 m in actual length. Or D. 1 mm on the drawing sheet represents 10 m in actual length. What should be the location of the title block on a drawing sheet? A. Upper left corner of the drawing sheet. B. Upper right corner of the drawing sheet. C. Lower left corner of the drawing sheet. D. Lower right corner of the drawing sheet. The size of the title block should be changed according to the size of the drawing sheet. A. True or B. False. According to the Bureau of Indian Standards, the height and the width of the title block for a normal engineering drawing should be A. 65 mm and 170 mm respectively. B. 50 mm and 170 mm respectively. C. 50 mm and 175 mm respectively. Or D. 55 mm and 165 mm respectively. Different types of hatching patterns may be used to indicate different materials such as steel, cast iron, aluminium, wood, concrete, etc. A. True. B. False. When outline, hidden line and center line coincide with each other, then the order of priority is given as follows. A. Outline, hidden line, center line. B. Hidden line, outline, center line. C. Center line, outline, hidden line. For any lettering style, all dimensions of lettering are calculated with respect to the a. Width of the letter b. Spacing between the lines c. Height of the letter d. Height to width ratio of the letter The bill of materials is placed just above the title block and it contains serial number, part number, part name, description, material of the part, etc. The recommended way of listing them is to A. List the items from top to bottom B. List the items from bottom to top C. List the items from both top and bottom What does the below symbol represent? A. First angle projection system B. Third angle projection system C. None of the above. Which of the two projection systems can be used in engineering drawing? A. Second angle or fourth angle projection system. B. First angle or second angle projection system. C. First angle or fourth angle projection system. D. First angle or third angle projection system. There are many planes used in engineering drawing. Vertical plane, horizontal plane, profile plane, auxiliary plane, cutting plane, etc. Which among these are known as the principal or reference planes of projection? A. Profile plane and auxiliary plane. B. Vertical plane and horizontal plane. C. Vertical plane, horizontal plane and profile plane. D. 
auxiliary plane and cutting plane reference line xy line in an engineering drawing is the intersection line between which two planes a vertical plane and horizontal plane b vertical plane and profile plane c horizontal plane and profile plane or d auxiliary plane and profile plane center line and cutting plane line are drawn as chain lines however the differences are one center line is always straight but cutting plane line can change the direction two center line is thin but cutting plane line is thick three center line is thin chain line however cutting plane line is thin chain line but thick at the ends and at the change of directions which statements among the above are true a one and two b one and three or c two and three what is the below symbol used for a it is a symbol used for making corrections in the drawing b it is the basic symbol used for the indication of surface texture c it is the basic symbol to indicate the change in the direction of sectioning path or d this symbol has no specific meaning in engineering drawing what these two symbols mean in engineering drawing a one surface not to be machined two machining allowed b one surface to be machined two machining not allowed c one highly smooth finish required two rough finish allowed or d one triangular texture to achieve two rounded texture to achieve What is true for hatching of two adjacent section components? A. They should be hatched by the same hatch lines and in identical manner. They should always be hatched in different hatch directions. C. They should always be hatched in different hatch directions or different spacing or both. D. They should be hatched in different hatch directions or different spacing but not both options. What is the recommended angle the hatch lines should make with the principal outlines or lines of symmetry of the section? A. 30 degree B. 45 degree C. 60 degree or D. 90 degree Which of the below given options is not a recommended reduced scale? A. 1 is to 2 B. 1 is to 5 C. 1 is to 10 or D. 1 is to 15 When two center lines cross each other which of the below statements is true? A. Only the long dashes of the center lines should intersect. B. Only the short dashes of the center lines should intersect. C. Both are true in two different situations. Or D. Center lines should never intersect in an engineering drawing. All hidden lines in an engineering drawing should be dimensioned. A. True B. False
while sectioning a wheel the spokes of the wheel should also be sectioned and hashed in the drawing a true b false Thanks for taking this quiz. Please let me know your comments or experience of this quiz test by writing in the comments below.